rolling with Khabib, how dominant was he in the gym? Oh, he's a monster. He's a monster on top. Like, uh, I used to like make myself get into shape and go in when he was coming into town because like I was one of the only guys who could like get away from him. Like I might be able to get away one and a half times per round. On bottom. <laughs> one and a half. He's just really? like, he's just grip strong. But like, I came up with a lot of, I developed a lot of technique because of working with him because like, it was like worst case scenario, having Khabib on top of you in certain positions. And I was like, I had to really figure out what's the best technique to attack this. Because like, if you're doing stupid stuff, like you're going to get drained fast because that pressure is just exhausting. Mm. absolutely exhausting in his style of wrestling was it difficult for you to adjust to uh no man we're kind of really similar like straightforward he's he wants to get to the single leg you know he'll neck rest you a little bit like he's just gonna shove it down your throat so the crazy thing is john you're known for your cardio like you are an absolute workhorse for you to say you were like it's exhausting wrestling him that's frightening <laughs> I mean, it really is. Yeah, Khabib and Cosby. Uh, oh man, what's uh, um? I just blinked his name. The, the uh, um, Gray Maynard, the, the two strongest pound for pound guys I've ever really ever grabbed, have ever grabbed hold of me. Yeah, like they do not feel like fifty five pounders, bro. Like, wow. but of course, like when they when they're coming into training, they're like high eighties. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> right. Did, did you?